Hello, my beautiful craft mates. Today we are making this incense holder with me, your Days of Future craft teacher. I am Sunshine. So let's get started. We are first going to talk about the materials needed for this project. I have here on my table a oven safe bowl, a oven thermometer, and this Sculpey brand translucent liquid bakeable clay. I think this is important for all clay projects. As well as a clay roller, you can use any roller for this project, as well as clay. I'm going to be combining these two colors and a silicone baking mat I specifically use for all of my clay projects. I also have off screen an awl or a, a stick of incense that I will use to make a hole. It will make sense in the end. So let's move on to the making of the actual project now. So I've separated my clay in half. I'm not going to use the whole package uh, for the incense holder that I'm making. And you want to work the clay so that it's flexible when you bend it. It makes it easier to work with. I will add, or I have added, I think, off screen to the clay, some of that translucent liquid bakeable clay because it makes the clay easier to work with, especially that gold glitter that I'm using. So I'm just mishing this together and folding it together to combine those two colors together and making it so that the clay is easier to work with. You really want to warm it up with your hands and really fold it together and mish it together and push your fingers in it and knead it and do everything you can to get that clay to a consistency where it's easy to work with. Once you're done conditioning the clay, we are going to make two balls. We're going to make a small one. And you can see here, I'm having a hard time working with this clay because of the gold glitter. But I'm going to roll the small ball in my hands and look at it, make sure it's smooth. And I'm just going to set it down for right now. And then I'm going to use the rest of the clay and make a larger ball. Now, because of this gold glitter, again, it's a little bit of a harder clay to work with. So, but you can see, you just really want it, it doesn't need to be a perfect ball, but it makes it easier to flatten it out um, with your roller. So now that I have my ball made, I'm gonna use my roller, and I'm gonna roll out the clay ball, the large clay ball. So I'm going to just keep rolling this out. I'm rolling it out to about, in I don't know, I didn't use a ruler. I want to say between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want this too thick because then it'll take longer to bake in the oven. But you don't want it too thin that it kind of crumbles if it comes out if you don't bake it long enough. So you do want it to have some substance when you're finished with your project. Now you can see here, uh, you can just keep flipping the project around and rolling on it. I use the bowl a couple times to measure to see, you know, if the clay is large enough that it'll go up the sides and just kind of rolling it out to the desired thickness and the desired shape. Uh, because this is a clay project, if I didn't like it, I could always crumple it up and remake out my ball and then re-roll it out. So it's really a simple incense holder to make. So now that I've got my ball rolled out to the thickness and size that I like and the shape that I like, I've put it in the bowl that I'm going to bake the incense holder in and I'm smushing it and pressing it against the sides to make sure it holds the ball shape when it's done baking and smoothing it out with my fingers adjusting the sides again this is a clay project so the clay really shifts and moves around so I can use this to my advantage and really put some like finishing touches and making sure the edges are smooth especially in this stage of the project. So now that I've got the clay pressed up against the sides of the bowl, I'm going to use my finger and roll the top edge of the clay down and press it so it has a nice even kind of finished 
top edge to it. And this is also the time where you can do like a really cool texture on the clay as well. And if you don't like it, you can always crunch it up and re-roll it out. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to take the smaller ball and press it right in the middle of the clay. Once you've got that down there, you can use the translucent liquid bakeable clay here as a glue if you would like to. But don't worry about it. As long as that clay is really smushed down and in good contact with the bottom clay, it should have a pretty good bond with itself. Now that I have the ball in place in the bowl just the way I want it, I'm going to take my incense stick and stick it in there and then swirl just the top part of the stick around so that the top part of the hole is bigger than the bottom of the hole. And the reason I do that is to make sure that I have enough space for multiple different sizes of incense. Now that that's finished, I'm going to place my bowl in my oven at the temperature listed on the packaging. Sometimes that changes depending on the clay. For me, that was 270 degrees Fahrenheit. I will be posting a video in the description box below talking about how long to bake the clay. I bake my clay intuitively. I just kind of stick it in the oven and then pull it out when I think it's done. And that's how I do it. So that's why I would recommend definitely watching that video as well. Don't follow the instructions on the package. Sometimes it doesn't say it doesn't work if you bake it as short as the packaging is telling you. You typically want to bake longer than what the package tells you. So with that being said, I would love to thank you guys for being here with me and doing this project with me and being patient with me. And I look forward to working with you guys in the future.